Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today we're going to be looking at Bitafont. I think that's how you pronounce it, but uh, it allows you to change the font style on, not the font style, but the font on your device. And once you install it, you need to go to the city of first and search for Bitafont. That's B-Y-T-A-F-O-N-T -T, and the number two. And it'll install this little icon you see right here with the big A and the lowercase a. Let's tap that and go in here. Here I'm in the advanced section. Down here at the bottom you have some different sections. You have basic, which they give you an overview if you want to read out all about it and determine what all it can do. That's It's a nice place. It, it has a how-to right here that just walks you through step by step. And you can even search for fonts in here. And uh, here is where it shows the fonts that you have installed. I only have two. And there's not really that many available for iOS 7 yet. But iOS uh, 6 fonts won't work in iOS 7. So keep that in mind. You can't just go download any font and put it into iOS 7. It has to be compatible with Beta Font 2 to work. So you can change the font style in your camera, iBooks, keyboard, and the system is pretty much everything that you see on the springboard and, th and things like that. And you see I have this Roboto font for my system font. And let's see, my camera font is this Neuropole, Neuropole, however you want to say that. Uh, let's look at what they, see what, see what they look like. And you can see here, Hopefully, let me see if I can get you zoomed in a little bit here. I don't have the best camera ever was, guys, but I'm working on that. Um, you can see right there that we do have some changes, and it's pretty awesome. And my lock screen has even got different font. And let me show you what it looks like. Right up here at the top, you see that looks a little bit different. And I can't get you in far enough there on that one. Let me see if I can back out a little bit and do a little bit better with. There we go. Uh, by the time I get it zoomed in, it goes out. But anyway, you can change your fonts on your lock screen. You can do a lot of different things with it. It is a pretty cool app to have, especially if you're a themer. If you like theming your eye device, definitely check it out. And it is available for the iPhone 5S too. It works with it. So grab it, guys. I think you'll really enjoy it. And please thumbs up the video. It really helps me out. Hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.